What's up guys, TKDPan here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a shiny den in Pokemon Sword and Shield for beginner. As you can see here, I'm in front of a den in the wild area. Once I go inside for a battle, the shiny Pokemon will be a shiny Gyarados. As you can see right here, shiny Gyarados. If you guys want to learn how to get your own shiny Pokemon, make sure to stay and watch for the entire video and watch very carefully. The den that I'm going to be going for is G-Max Orbeetle in Den 92 right here. So it must be compatible with, with Sword and Shield depending on which one that you have. So I'm going to be going for this one right here. It should tell me where it is at here in Bridgefield right at this den. Okay, so I've made it to my den. So this den has G-Max Orbeetle in it. And if you don't have any wishing pieces, go out and buy some right now. And they're not that expensive. They're about 3,000 watts. Get some watts and go buy some wishing pieces. Once you have done that, make sure to go to your options, turn your tech speed to slow, and then turn off autosave. Once you have finished doing everything, setting your tech speed to slow and turning off autosave, make sure to save right in front of your den. What we're trying to do is find a rare beam, which is the purple beam. Throw the wishing piece in. As soon as it says, would you like to save, hit yes. Immediately hit the home button. If it shows a rare beam, save and don't do anything. But if it shows a common beam, which is the red beam, see right there, the red beam, showed a little glimmer of the red beam, exit out immediately, right there, immediately hit X and hit close out your game. Go back into your game, keep doing that process until you get a rare beam and make sure you save. Okay, I finally got a purple beam after about three minutes and six tries, so it didn't take that long. So once in here, you wanna go catch the Pokemon. Um, use any mod, just go catch the Pokemon. Catching the mod now, just catch it with any Pokeball. From there, don't save, do not save. Add the Pokemon to your party. After you have caught the Mon and the Den is gone, do not save. I repeat, do not save. Okay guys, so there's a sea checker bot that is called Doo, Doo Bot that I'm gonna be linking into the description below. So basically you trade the Mon that you caught into the Den with the sea checker bot and it will tell you how many more days until that Den is a shiny Den. The trade code is 9162. Trade your Mon to the bot and as soon as you trade it, it will give you a seed. Copy that seed and paste it into another site that I will be linking in a second. I got in a trade with Doo, Doo. Now I gotta trade the Mon that I caught from the Den. Once I trade it, go to the Doo, Doo Bot and copy the seed. Okay guys, after we copied our seed, we go to this site right here, check how many more frames until it is a shiny den. We pick the den, which was Bridgefield, and it gives us a bunch of options, but we're gonna find the one with G-Max Orbeetle. So let's go to Bridgefield 1, Rare Beam, Sword, and nope, not here. We go check another one, Bridgefield 2, nope, not here. And do that until you can find G-Max Orbeetle or whatever den that you have. After finding the den in Bridgefield 6, Rare Beam, Sword, G-Max Orbeetle. I paste my seed right here. So Doo, Doo gave me the seed. I copied it and I paste it right here. Search for shiny frames. This will show you how many more frames until your date is a shiny. The closest one is 5,118 frames, which is equivalent to that many days that we have to skip for. That is not a good seed, so therefore you have to go get a new den and catch the same on and catch the Pokemon all over again. We're looking for a seed frame in between four and about 2,000 at most because we're gonna have to manually skip the dates on a switch. And if you don't wanna be skipping for 5,000 dates, then you kinda wanna find a seed that's small. So from here, we're gonna do the same thing. Wishing piece, would you like to save your adventure so far? Yes, go immediately, close out because it was a red beam. Do the steps all the way from the beginning from where we just ended off on finding the seed until you get a seed between four days to 2,000 days and then that should be a good seed so I'm gonna cut to the part where I get a good seed okay guys so basically after three rare beam attempts I finally got 697 frames which is equivalent to about two years to three years and that's how many days I have to skip which would approximately take me about 10 minutes and it has hidden ability on it, so it's actually really good. The next step would be to copy this right here. 697. So I would say paste 697 days from today. 697 days from now would be April 22nd, 2022. So that is the day that your shiny is on. Okay, so now on your switch, go to the set system settings 
date and time, synchronize it on, and then synchronize it off so that it's today's date, okay? May 25th, 2020, 5.46 p.m. Change this to a.m. and make it 1, about like 1 a.m. Go back into your game and then initiate a battle. Connect to the internet and do a link battle online. All you have to do is choose single. Hit yes. Once you're connected to the internet, it will give you someone and pair you up with someone random. After you have been paired up with someone random, I'm going to undock my switch and manually go hit the system settings, hit the home button, and then hit airplane mode on and airplane mode off. Go back into the game and then it should give you an error message that says this. Hit close and then I go back into the game. Okay, so once I'm in the game, every time I hit the home button on my Joy-Con and go back into Pokemon Sword, it should do a little glitch right here. It should flash for a quick second and that's how you know that you did the glitch right. Okay, so after that, you should be able to go to your system settings, move your date up by one, and then it should be a completely new day on a completely new den. It should give you watts, go into it, and it's a new mon. And you can keep doing that again and again, and it will change the mon. So every single time I'm doing this, it's skipping one day. So it's subtracting from that shiny frame we initially had, which was 697, I believe. So it was subtracting each time. So now it's 695 skips. So it's moving the date up by one. Go to your town map and go to the nearest Pokemon Center and save in the nearest Pokemon Center. This is because the wild area has all the weather effects and it can crash your game. So once you're in the Pokemon Center, make sure you save. Okay, so now that you're in the Pokemon Center, the next step would be to move your date up. And it's not very practical to keep going on the Joy-Con and keep moving it up by one. So a faster way of doing it would be to undock your switch and do it manually with your finger. So press up by one, hit OK. Up by one and hit OK. OK. So now I undock my switch. Once I undock my switch, it should look like this. Hit the home button on my Joy-Con. Go to system settings and go all the way to the date and time again. OK. So from here, I manually want to skip the date up by one. So it's on the 27th. I skip up to the 28th, hit OK. And from there, I just keep doing that. 29, okay. 30, okay. 31, okay. And then once it goes up to one again, skip the month up to six since it was on May, hit okay. Do that all the way up until you get to your shiny. Since we're all human, we can't normally get everything correct. So therefore, we're gonna be bound to make errors. I'll undock my switch right now. From the date and time, I go to the system settings, date and time. Um, I have to skip to April 1st, 2022 because my shiny date is on April 22nd, 2022. And I need to make sure I save before then so that I do not over skip. So I skip up by one, hit okay. Skip up by one, hit okay. Skip up by one, hit okay. Once it gets to the end of the month, you move the month up one so that it resembles the date actually moving. And once you move a year, make sure that you skip up the year. Okay, so now that the date is April 1st, 2022, and I went one by one and hit OK. I go back into my game and I go back to the den. This is really important. You must save right in front of your den. April 1st, 2022, save right in front of your den. From there, capture the mod in the den. OK, after you cop the mod in the den, make sure to add it to your party and put it in any slot. It doesn't really matter because we're going to be trading it to Dudu afterwards so that we can check our seed. Okay, so this is going to be the last time we're going to be trading with Doodoo Bot. So after we put in the code on Pokemon, we're going to trade with Doodoo. And after that, we're going to get our seed and put it into the seed checker again. Okay, so once you're in a trade with Doodoo right there, trade the mod that you caught in the den. And it should give us the, shi the shiny seed frame. And it should be a lot smaller than what it was last time. Okay, so I'm on, I'm on Doodoo. It gives me the seed, but it also tells me that my shiny is in 21 skips. So I can also use that to tell from my date today, 21 days from where I am today on my Switch. Make sure you exit out and go back in so you can restore your rare beam. Okay, so now 21 days from April 1st is April 22nd, 2022. So it's the same date, so I did not mess up a single bit. So now you're gonna want to go into a single battle and airplane out once again. And this is gonna be the last time you airplane out. Okay, so once in a battle, 
take it off um, dock mode, but, um, your settings, airplane on, airplane off to the game, and every message. Hit OK. Returns you back to the game. And once again, once you hit the home button and go back, it should prompt a screen that glitches out for just a split second. So it should look like this. Go back and glitch out for one second. So that's how you know you did it correctly. One of the last steps in the process is you skip to the shiny date, but we are gonna roll the den to get a GMAX or Beetle. So we have to skip three days before the shiny frame. So it was April 22nd, 2022. We skip 21st, 2019, April 19th, two, skip, so second, third, we're going to skip all the way to April 19th so that we can roll for the shiny den. Once we are at April 19th, 2022, we go back to the game and it should be good. So what we do is save right here and it has to be April 19th, 2022. So then we can skip exit out of the game so that you get rid of the glitch after you save. Now that we got rid of the glitch, as you can see, it doesn't glitch out for a split second. We're going to do something called roll the den. So as you can tell, we saved, the last save was 4-19th, 19th, 2022. So we're going to start rolling the den. Okay, so now we're going to start rolling the den. In order to roll the den, we are on 4 2022, and we're trying to get to the shiny frame, which is on the 22nd. So hit invite others, um, hit the home button, go to system settings, all the way to date and time, move it up by 1, 20th, go back, quit, and hit yes. This should prompt it so that it goes up one by one date, hit invite others, do the same exact thing up until the 22nd, and then it's skipping the den up by one, so it's going to be the 21st, the den is thought to be on the 21st, so it's going to be the mon on the 21st. And then the mon on the 22nd is going to be the shiny mon. So the one after this is going to be a shiny. And if you did that correctly, then congratulations, you have a shiny mon. So one more, hit quit. Make sure you do this correctly. And it signals that you have a new den every single time that says energy is pouring out. That's how you know you did it right. A galisopod. Hit don't invite others. Check to see if this is right. And if it is, then congratulations, you have a shiny den. So this galisopod should be shiny. Yeah, that's shiny. Okay, so uh, congratulations. You have a star shiny Galisopod or a star shiny den, and now you can host them for other people. So congratulations. Okay, so that's it for today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I know I'm not the first person to do this demonstration and that people have done it way in the past, but this is basically for my community so that they can um, know and hear from me on how I do it myself and personally. If you guys thought this video was helpful, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the Discord or the comment section below. I'll be linking the Seed Checker, Seed Bot, and my Discord and Twitch in the description below. I stream on Twitch every single night, 8 p.m. We host dens on Eastern Time, United States. So if you wanna check me out, feel free to. Also, let me know if you have any suggestions on further video ideas and let me know in the comment section below as well. Hope everyone having a nice day or night and hope to see you guys on my stream and in my community. Peace out, bye.